Alright, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today. In this episode, I wanted to share with you all some thoughts regarding Cardano's Ouroboros protocol. So I've got an article here published recently from Professor Agalos Kiyas, a chief scientist at IOHK, talking about Cardano's staking and proof of stake algorithm Ouroboros. So taking a look at that, as well as some anticipated dates as we move forward with the Cardano Shelley rollout plan. So my thoughts regarding that. And lastly, a call to action for those of you who have not done so already. Be sure to register for free for the Cardano Virtual Summit 2020 Shelley edition. So we're going to be talking about all that here in this video. So let's get started. All right, everyone. So to get started with this video here today, this is an article that I've got from IOHK's blog from Professor Agalos Kiyas. He is a chief scientist in the academic research department for IOHK, and he published this article going into more detail for Cardano's Ouroboros, which is the provably secure proof of stake protocol. So if you do find some value from this video here today, be sure to drop a like for me. If you guys are new to the channel and if you enjoy content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys do have any comments or suggestions about anything that we're talking about here today, make sure you let me know down in the comments section below. So to get started, the Ouroboros path to decentralization. Designing and deploying a distributed ledger is a technically challenging task. What is expected of a ledger is the promise of a consistent view to all participants as well as a guarantee of responsiveness to the continuous flow of events that result from their actions. These two properties, sometimes referred to as persistence and liveness, are the hallmark of distributed ledger systems. Achieving persistence and liveness in a centralized system is a well-studied and fairly straightforward task. Unfortunately, the ledger that emerges is precariously brittle because the server that supports the ledger becomes a single point of failure. As a result, hacking the server can lead to the instant violation of both properties. Even if the server is not hacked, the interests of the server operators may not align with the continuous assurance of these properties. For this reason, decentralization has been advanced as an essential remedy. Informally, decentralization refers to a system architecture that calls for many entities to act individually in such a way that the ledger's property emerge from the convergence of their actions. In exchange for this increase in complexity, a well-designed system can continue to function even if some parties deviate from proper orientation. Moreover, in the case of more significant deviations, even if some disruption is unavoidable, the system should still be capable of returning to normal operation and contain the damage. How does one design a robust decentralized system? So the world is a complicated place and decentralization is not a characteristic that can be hard-coded or demonstrated via testing. The potential configurations that might arise are infinite. To counter this, one must develop models that systematically encompass all of the different threats the system may encounter and demonstrate rigorously that the two basic properties of persistence and liveness are upheld. The strongest arguments for the reliability of a decentralized system combine formal guarantees against a broad portfolio of different classes of failure and attack models. The first important class is that of powerful Byzantine models. In this setting, it should be guaranteed that even if a subset of participants arbitrarily deviate from the rules, the two fundamental properties are retained. The second important class is models of rationality. Here, participants are assumed to be rational utility maximizers, and the objective is to show that the ledger properties arise from their efforts to pursue their self-interest. Ouroboros is a decentralized ledger protocol that is analyzed in the context of both Byzantine and rational behavior. What makes the protocol unique is the combination of the following design elements. It uses stake as a fundamental resource to identify the participant's leverage in the system. No physical resource is wasted in the process of ledger maintenance, which is shown to be robust despite countless simulation and nothing at stake attacks, that were previously thought to be fundamental barriers to stake-based ledgers. This makes Ouroboros distinctly more appealing than proof-of-work protocols, 
which require prodigious energy expenditure to maintain consensus. It is proven to be resilient even if arbitrarily large subsets of participants in terms of stake abstain from ledger maintenance. This guarantee of dynamic availability ensures liveness even under arbitrary and unpredictable levels of engagement. At the same time, of those participants who are active, barely more than half need to follow the protocol. The rest can arbitrarily deviate. In fact, even temporary spikes above the 50% threshold can be tolerated. Thus, Ouroboros is distinctly more resilient and adaptable than classical Byzantine fault tolerance protocols, as well as all their modern adaptations, which have to predict with relative certainty the level of expected participation and may stop operating when the prediction is false. The process of joining and participating in the protocol execution is trustless in the sense that it does not require the availability of any special shared resource such as a recent checkpoint or a common clock. Engaging in the protocol requires merely the public genesis block of the chain and access to the network. This makes Ouroboros free of the trust assumptions common in other consensus protocols whose security collapses when trusted shared resources are subverted or unavailable. Ouroboros incorporates a reward sharing mechanism to incentivize participants to organize themselves in operational nodes known as stake pools that can offer a good quality of service independently of how stake is distributed among user population. In this way, all stakeholders contribute to the system's operation, ensuring robustness and democratic representation, while the cost of ledger maintenance is efficiently distributed across the user population. At the same time, the mechanism comes with countermeasures that de-incentivize centralization. This makes Ouroboros fundamentally more inclusive and decentralized compared with other protocols that either end up with just a handful of actors responsible for ledger maintenance or provide no incentives to stakeholders to participate and offer a good quality of service. These design elements of Ouroboros are not supposed to be self-evident appeals to the common sense of the protocol user. Instead, they were delivered with meticulous documentation and papers that have undergone peer review and appeared in top-tier conferences and publications in the area of cybersecurity and cryptography. Indeed, it is fair to say that no other consensus research effort is represented so comprehensively in these circles. Each paper is explicit about the specific type of model that is used to analyze the protocol, and the results derived are laid out in concrete terms. The papers are open access, patent-free, and include all technical details to allow anyone with the relevant technical expertise to convince themselves of the veracity of the claims made about performance, security, and functionality. Building an inclusive, fair, and resilient infrastructure for financial and social applications on a global scale is the grand challenge of information technology today. Ouroboros contributes not just as a protocol with unique characteristics, but also in presenting a design methodology that highlights first principles, careful modeling, and rigorous analysis. Its modular and adaptable architecture also lends itself to continuous improvement, adaptation, and enrichment with additional elements, such as parallelization to improve scalability or zero-knowledge proofs to improve privacy, to name two examples which is a befitting characteristics to meet the ever-evolving needs and complexities of the real world. And here we have listed below some further reading to build on top of this knowledge of Ouroboros. So those are some things that were highlighted with this article. I found a lot of information valuable in this, and I think that Professor Agalos Kiyas did a great job of highlighting some of the design mechanics of Ouroboros. So lots of information there. If you guys have not done so already, be sure to check out the IOHK blog for some really incredible knowledge and information regarding Cardano. If you are interested in the project, I do highly recommend that you get up to speed with some of the information here on this website. So as far as what I gained from this article, I think that it encompasses the problems that Ouroboros is intending on solving. I think that in order to maintain a global financial operating system in a decentralized manner, Ouroboros is hands down the most secure proof-of-stake protocol that we've seen. So 
very interesting to see that. I think that you know other projects looking at Cardano are going to be building in the future and saying that you know this is completely open source. This is available to everyone to be able to learn from and build on top of. Uh, Cardano is really paving the way and building solid foundations for a provably secure proof of stake protocol. So next up, I wanted to share some information regarding the Cardano Shelly rollout plan. So June is flying by. Today is June 23rd, and we are anticipating coming up very soon is the hard fork combinator test as well as the balance check test. So those are some things to look forward to this week. Recently in a tweet from IOHK, we saw that there is likely going to be a version of Daedalus that will allow you to verify your balance when we see the rewards being paid out for Shelly. So there will be a way to go ahead and verify this before we see that live. I will make sure I keep you guys posted and up to date with all these events as they happen. Uh, but those are some things to look forward to and we can anticipate the Shelly code release target date to be expected around June 30th and as a backup as July 7th. So Shelly is coming up very soon. It's, uh, it's incredible to see how quickly this is moving along. According to Charles Hoskinson, there are no delays as far as the rollout of Shelly. So things are good to go. It's, uh, it's gonna be a very exciting time for the project. And lastly, I wanna share with you guys here, if you have not done so already, make sure you register for free. This is gonna be a very exciting event. I know so many people are gonna be there, tons of guest speakers, lots of keynotes. It's gonna be an exciting time. I would love to see you guys there. If you haven't done so, go ahead and register for free. I will leave a link for you guys down in the description below. I would love to see you guys there, and I will keep you posted with all these events as they come to happen. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope that you guys enjoy this video here today and I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys have not done so already, please be sure to drop a like for me and hit that subscribe button before you go. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.